this is the time of year where I start experimenting, doing all kinds of weird art projects. It does always happen at this time of year, right? I think it's cause I'm bored. You know, I'm inside more and I have to express myself somewhere. Why not experiment? All this to say, way back in 2018. Where is time going? What is time? Basically what I'm saying is back when I went to VidCon with all my art friends, we went to an art store and I got this origami paper while I was there because it was just really pretty and like, look at the shine, how can you not? My favorite pack is actually this one though. It just looks so cool. You know what we're gonna do? This is gonna be our canvas. Probably shouldn't have done that. I'm very caffeinated right now. I don't know if this is gonna work out. Let's open it, find out. Wait, wait, before we do, before we do, I just wanted to say my new merch finally came. These are Feeling Sketchy Pencil Pouches. Ah, I'm so excited about them. So this is what they look like. It's a really nice, soft, durable canvas material. And this is what the inside looks like. You can pretty much fit any normal size art supply inside like this. Pretty much put the necessities in. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. I can put a tube of gouache in here, whatever I want really. Anyway, these were supposed to come out the same day as my sweaters, but the shipping complications of 2020, you know. It is what it is, but I am thankful for our postal workers nonetheless. So I will say it with a smile on my face. These launched late. Okay, here's the beautiful origami paper. Ooh, fancy schmancy. Look at the gold leaf on it. Ah. Uh, I'm thinking we will use acryl gouache. How about it? Let's use it. This is one of my favorite art supplies. Maybe we'll do a bunch of paintings. I did buy quite a few different, ooh, look at this one. It's like pink and blue. Ooh, look at that iridescent shine. I hope paint works on this one. Got my crusty palette and uh. If you notice and you have a dirty palette, sometimes it's best not to address your dirty palette. And you know you have a dirty palette, but you don't talk about the dirty palette. Okay, so I am feeling, wait, we have to look through all these. I feel so bad I'm about to ruin the beautiful presentation. Oh my goodness, that is so satisfying. <gasps> anyway, let's look through it. These are really cool. Wait, are these like paper too? Oh, that's really neat. <gasps> oh man, I love this one. Okay, we might have to use this one. <gasps> Whoa, oh, these are neat. Whoa, we need to do this one. Wow. Okay, I am just blown away. These papers are beautiful. This is so pretty, the gold leaf. All right, whoa, this kind of makes me want like food. <laughs> I think I've chosen enough for now and then we'll see. I think I have wishful thinking, high ambitions. I'm really inspired right now. If we can't, fit all of these other packs into the video. Then, uh-oh, did we just create a series? Did we create a series? Tell me if we created a series. So I guess the fun thing about this project is all these little papers are small. So I think we can actually do a lot with this. We are going to start with this one. We are going to paint a cat on this. Let's do it, like a purple cat. So I think because like the background is so busy, the challenge with this is to actually keep my artwork very simplistic. We'll see if I can adhere to that. I think this is gonna take a while to dry. So we're gonna start the next painting and come back to this one. Which is kind of mind blowing because I usually finish a painting before moving on to the next one. But this video has a lot of energy we are inspired and hyped up and yeah, I'm just gonna let this paint dry. I wanna do this one next. 
So I'm gonna do a little bit of like a cat theme. There we go, we have four cats. I personally don't have four cats, but we have four painted cat silhouettes that are waiting for faces. So I actually have an idea in mind for these cats. So my brother and sister-in-law actually rescued a really cute orange cat named Domino. And I know none of these cats are orange. There's like a statement with this whole thing that I've had in mind. It's kind of like a pop art sort of piece. Anyway, they rescued him a couple years ago and he only has one eye and he's really cute, very playful. He attacked me once, but I'll forgive him. It's all good. Anyway, with that being said, I am going to be painting these to kind of resemble Domino, meaning that all these cats are only gonna have one eye and I'm really excited about that. I'm gonna give it to them for Christmas. So I hope they like it. Dustin and Tori, if you guys are watching this before Christmas, turn it off. Here's Domino, by the way. He's a little cutie. <laughs> so I tried to, ooh, did you see that happen? Whatevs. So I'm trying to make the cats in this look round. And Domino is not as round as this, but we're gonna pretend he is, because that's how I feel like doing this. I was looking for that pink gouache, and I forgot I put it in this pencil case earlier. I think I'm gonna do like little fur patterns all around. By the way, if you want to brighten somebody's day that is not me, you can comment hi Domino down below. And then if Dustin and Victoria see it, everybody's loving on their cat. So that's cool. And you can say hi to them too. Anyway, let's move on to more of these cats. Oh, this is such a fun project. I should have done this a long time ago. Okay, we have this mint colored one. So the goal will be to try to make the other cats look kind of like this cat, but with their own cat style, you know? Let's do the little ears. This one has smaller ears, so this will be fun. Maybe I'll give them each like different proportions. I just noticed this one is like the inverse of that one. So this one is actually more like correct, but this one, I just think it's kind of fun. <laughs> you know, I just had to do a double take into my cup because I thought I dipped my paint into my drinking water. This is like a zombie domino. <laughs> oh, he kind of reminds me of a zombie cat sort of thing. Dude, doesn't this look like a zombie? <laughs> I'll let him dry. Gonna do this again. Ooh, this one might be a little different. I'm probably gonna change the color of uh, the nose later. So as you can see by now, each piece of paper has a different color scheme for the cat. And I tried to pick colors that complemented the background really well. Like this pink one, I felt like went really well with the red background. And this one, I kind of just like rolled with it. I wasn't sure what I was getting into when I started, but I really like the yellow fur. Now, the one thing I actually kept the same in every piece was that golden eye. So Domino has like gold eyes and they're really cute. And I thought it would be cool 
to make one thing in each piece consistent and consistent with his appearance. So yeah, I did the golden eye. And obviously the other eye is shut because that's how Domino is, but he's so cute that way. Now I do have plans to frame these and like map them and everything. So they will eventually go in like a black frame with a white mat. And yeah, if I ever remember to post what that looks like later, I still have to frame it at the time of doing this, but I will try to show you on Instagram. <laughs> we finished all of the cats. This one here is drying. It might be kind of hard to see how dark that yellow is in the camera light, um, but it's actually pretty dark. And then we have this one. He kind of looks like a zombie, but you know, we're rolling with it. <laughs> and then this one here makes me want Neapolitan ice cream for sure. You know, like strawberry, vanilla. Yeah. And then the first one here is still my absolute favorite. I love it so much. Although I do have to say, I like this one a lot too. By the way, I am doing videos all week for Mira Christmas, so I hope you enjoy it. It's gonna be a good week. All right, bye.